Hey scientists, it's Mad Science Monday! And I'm so happy you're here, because science matters. And today we're going to be checking out an experiment that you can do with a bunch of stuff that you have, I'm sure, in your house. Even though I am anti-plastic bag and I take reusable bags everywhere, somehow someone brings plastic bags into my house. So, you'll need a few grocery bags, which you probably have laying around. Um, I brought a few different kinds because I thought I'd test to see maybe if there's a difference between my giant eagle bag, my five below bag, and a target bag. So, we are going to use plastic bags and you will need a pair of scissors. So we are going to cut our plastic bag. We're gonna cut out a rectangle from it. needle bag. You can tell this was the top, that was the bottom. I'm gonna scrunch it up and grab mm, as hard as I can. I'm gonna pull it and pull it and see if I can break. But you know, don't plastic bags break sometimes? Have you ever had a plastic bag break on you? Mm, okay, so I'm gonna unscrunch it and I'm gonna turn it sideways. And I'm gonna scrunch it again. And I'm gonna pull. Ah, and it keeps ripping. Smaller and smaller. The first time, it, mm, it did not want to rip. Second time, it ripped easily. Do you guys have any ideas of why that might be? Hmm. So, obviously, I guess the plastic must have been stronger top to bottom, right? And this, that makes sense because if you're going to put your handles like this, it better be stronger top to bottom. So, plastic is actually, it's a polymer. It's made of a lot of polymers, and polymers work in chains. So you use polymers when you make slime. So you know how when you pour your slime, it kind of connects together and it just it doesn't break real easily. Uh, but then sometimes it snaps the other way. So all the chains of the polymer in here are lined up in one direction. So as long as they're all going the same way, they are strong. However, when they're going this way, and you pull this way, they're much weaker. Let's see. Ah, you didn't even have to cut the bag, it came apart. What about, but if I take that same bag, I pulled it sideways now, let's see, there's my handle. I'm gonna pull it top to bottom, and it doesn't wanna break at all. Okay, now, let's take my five below bag. Pull bag, right? Mm, pull on top to bottom. Okay. Now, same thing. Scrunch it up. Bam! So, plastic is stronger in one direction than it is another because of how the chains line up. Kind of like if you have like a chain, like a metal chain, long it's very strong that way, but all the individual links can be broken easily one at a time going down. So I challenge you to see if you can find out which bags that you have at home are stronger, weaker, see maybe how much force it takes, if it's easier, if it's harder to break, and let me know the results, and then check back in the next month for more Mad Science Mondays. Bye guys!